are out in western Nebraska today, just about where Wyoming, Colorado, and Nebraska all come together, and we've run across a rare old Chevy. This one's a four-wheel drive Pathfinder, actually a GMC, not a Chevy, GMC Vandura. We happened across this scrapyard out here and spotted this thing and it was like, wow, eight lug, four wheel drive van, that's gotta be a rare one. Not gonna let the crusher get it today. Now the batteries were dead on his high loader, so he's had to improvise a little bit. Got one Mazda in the way and then we'll be up to the van. Here's the van safely home. They said the guy had a plumbing business and at certain times he'd go out in the country or go out on new installs where they didn't exactly have easy access in. And so this is the vehicle that he used for his business. The old man actually had two of these, they said, and this one was kind of the rougher or more of the parts van but the other one, I'm not sure even where it went. They said it still ran and drove. This thing, honestly, pretty solid. And for what's here, definitely rebuildable van. I think it's workable and something that somebody could put back on the road. Of course, as you guys know, these old 70s shagging boogie vans are starting to make their comeback. There's a resurgence of interest in them and body rust is the main thing so being that far out in western nebraska the body on this it's got its little rough edges here and there but overall just a really good vehicle to start with and bring back the guys that are into these vans they like the early style skinny bumpers and the first issue grills and i've got the grill for this but they've cut it out I'm not even sure why, maybe to mount something in there, but I do have others back at the shop that are in good shape that I would have to go with it. The Pathfinder is a little more conventional 
It's built like the trucks, and they did build Ford, Chevrolet, Dodge, GMC, across the spectrum, and so any of those brands were available as a Pathfinder. I've been told that there are guys that would just take parts off of vans and build them into the Pathfinder, kind of do a conversion, and they said that the one way to tell if you're looking at an original is this tubular cross member for the engine, which this one has, and so that shows that this should be an original van. It does have the conversion windows cut in the side there. Not everybody's preference, but they are handy and functional. He did extend the back bumper out. Up on the roof there, you can see there's like a hole cut. I'm not sure if they had a stove or something in there. That would need to be patched. I do have a donor van, and so a lot of stuff that this van needs could come out of the other van. See, pretty basic inside, straight column, no tilt. It is AC delete. So this van, just pretty bare bones type of deal. The other van that I have is tan interior, red exterior, just like this one. And so any pieces a guy needs, this one would have potential of harvesting off of it. See the remnants of the shag and the paneling. Of course, Joe and I go to a junkyard and we're gonna take an opportunity to strip parts off the vehicles. And this van was a convenient way of getting them home. So if anybody's interested in this, we can make it available. The engine's laying in there. And so in order to title this for us would be a little bit more of a challenge because the engine has to be sitting in the vehicle in order for us to do the vent inspection and file for the title. So if anybody's interested, as of the time of this video, this van is available and I will put contact information down in the video description box and availability and all that. If it does happen to sell, I will update. So thank everybody for watching and checking out this rare piece of four wheel drive Vannon history.